to tell you, I, I, I wouldn't fire Punk. I mean, eh. if that isn't for, ah, I guess listen, we'll, we'll debate listen, that in a hear bit. Me out. We'll debate hear that me in out. a bit. Okay, what do you got? Hear me out, though. Hear me out. Not from the standpoint of his actions. From the standpoint of, I'm not gift wrapped in him. I'm not gift wrapping him to Paul Levesque, which is exactly what he'll do. He'll be motivated. He'll be angry. He'll have something to prove. WWE will take him back in a second. And I'm not gift wrapping him to them. He can sit home and I'll pay him till the end of that contract. I don't care about that. I would never fire him. Even if I have to pay him to do nothing. Even if I have to Lanny Popo him. I'm not firing him for that reason. What do you think of that? Um, hmm. That is a tough one. I don't know that he would waltz into Dota V as quickly and easily as you're saying he would. Oh, um, I think he would. I think he would try. I don't I wonder if that company would would kind of have a bit of a, a a pause or I I I think Triple H yes, he's trying to get as much buzz as he possibly can. If you fire CM Punk today, yeah, Paul Levesque's probably making that call and 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 probably doing whatever he can to bring him in just for that buzz factor and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I I just don't know if it's going to be as easy and 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 clean as you're maybe presenting it there. I do think there might be some people with some apprehension. There might be some people very similar to what was happening in AEW too, where a lot of people, you know, we can go back at that time and look at that. And there was a lot of people that were like, eh, I don't know, this guy's kind of, you know, and and eh, it's not the best, you know, locker room guy or whatever. But for AEW standpoint, it was like, well, it's worth the risk. And it absolutely was. Like, let's be honest, for a year, it was absolutely worth the risk of bringing this guy in, even if he was you know, CM Punk, which we knew was probably going to come to a, a, a head uh, at some point. He was eventually going to become CM Punk again. The, the I'm just happy to be here shtick uh, was not going to last forever. Uh, the Triple H stuff, though, is that's there's a little more wrinkles there. I mean, him and Triple H have never quite seen eye to eye. Triple or, or CM Punk was more of a Vince guy forever. Do I think that they would understand the, the, that it's best for business to to, to, to bury the hatchet and, and, and sign the deal? Yeah, probably. I could get that. But I do wonder if 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 maybe Triple H and WWE can kind of look at this situation and say, is it really truly worth it? Do we really truly need this guy in our locker room? Do we truly need need all of this that comes with it? I mean, make no question about it. What he did on Sunday was completely unacceptable for 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 a wrestler to do to uh, a company that he works for. I mean that 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 we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit in terms of like the firing or whatnot and what I would do with it. Like what he did was just monumentally monumentally unprofessional on a level that I don't know that any other wrestler has done something to me as unprofessional as what CM Punk did. There's guys that refuse to do jobs. There's guys that won't go through the curtain until you pay them X amount of money. There's, yeah, there's, you know, have, have, you know, I guess guys have murdered each other backstage. That might be a little bit worse uh, than this, but in terms of, hey, let's say American wrestling, uh, most unprofessional thing in American wrestling. I mean, this guy went scorched fucking earth on the company that he worked for, the wrestlers that he works with, the wrestlers that he's feuding with, the people that he's being put in in programs with, the guys that are also vice presidents of the company. And make no question, he was throwing stones at Tony as well, the guy sitting right fucking next to him, too, as he's just going absolutely haywire in an official company setting as well, in a press conference. Like, that, that you got, that's got to give you pause, that, hey, if we sign this guy, this injury-prone guy, who, by the way, has gotten hurt the last two times, he's had, like, actual decent matches or any match that, that has any sort of length to it. If we're bringing this guy in, he comes with all of this baggage as well. And this is a guy who was not happy the last time he was with us. So I don't know. I I, I think that there's probably, if, if Tony fired Tim Punk tonight after Dynamite, the call is being made. Paul is going to call them. They're, they're going to talk. I don't know that it is as clean and obvious as, as you're putting up there. I think there's enough questions and enough bad baggage that maybe you say, is it truly truly worth it for us to bring this guy in i think if they fire punk it's it's there i see a scenario where he has a chip on his shoulder he's mad at uh the company he's mad he's obviously hates the elite and i think he he'll want to stick it to him i i mean he flew real close to the sun when he took that fox job and um i you know he he's the kind of guy who will want to do it to prove a point and to be a thorn in their side and a pain in the ass if he feels like – if he's fired and he feels like that's the wrong decision and he feels like he shouldn't be fired, I could see him moonwalking back into WWE. It's Phil Brooks. He'll want to stick it to everyone involved. Oh, I, I, I think fully that he would want to do it. I have no question that if Paul Levesque called him and said, hey, here's the deal. Sign it tonight and you're in. You'll be on Raw you know, tomorrow or whatever. I have no idea. I have no doubt that 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 – 
CM Punk, Phil Brooks would do that in a second. I don't know that Triple H and Nick Khan and WWE are going to be so... Because like you said, he's got a chip on his shoulder. He's angry. He's all that sort of stuff. Do I want a chip on my shoulder, angry CM Punk in my locker room in 2022? If I'm Triple H and this guy's available, I'd do whatever it takes to bring him in. Yeah, I don't... I, I just... Listen, if he I melts down, he I melts get... down. You get, if he melts down, you just get rid of him. Yeah, I, I suppose. Uh, come on, that's money. Especially now, coming off of this. I mean, you hire that guy and you give him a mic and you send him out to the railway. What are we doing here? The, no, 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 no. The, the problem though with CM Punk is how many disingenuous. How many times are we going to go through the? You know, that company they don't know. Right? I know I'll what give I. The answer to that. You do it as many times until it stops drumming. <laughs> well, time. I guess so, but yeah, we're this would be the the fourth or fifth time that he's done the you know oh those guys over there they don't know what they're doing like he just a, a year ago cut that exact same promo yes, talking he did. about and- WWE and they killed my passion for wrestling and they killed wrestling and th- and this is a wrestling company and we do wrestling here and I want to be a part of this wrestling company what they do I haven't been wrestling since I left Ring of Honor those guys do something different they, and yes he's disingenuous and yes he's a professional liar I get it. I get it, I get it, but it's like, I don't know that I want to hear that promo again from Punk. And maybe, there's probably fans that do. There's probably a lot of WWE fans that want to hear him stick it to it, but I don't know. I I, I guess, I, I don't know. Is there money okay. in it? There probably right. is. There probably Hold is. Hold on a second. But... Hold on a second. He's announced for Raw in two weeks. You're not watching? Oh, well, I'm watching. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's my point. Okay, if, if, he, if I'm not gift wrapping this guy to the other side, you're in a wrestling war. I'm not doing it. I'm not firing him. That doesn't mean I'm putting him on TV next week, but I'm not firing him. If he's got to sit home and I have to send him a check every week, that's fine. If he wants to take me to court and try to get out of it, if he's not happy about that arrangement, that's fine. I've got $8 billion. I, you know, we could litigate this. And Listen, the longer we litigate this for, the better for me because it keeps you away from them. I'm not firing this guy. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. I'm not opening up the possibility of him walking onto that Monday Night Raw stage when they already have all this momentum and they're already hot and all of this. I forget. No, not a chance. Not a chance I fire this guy. Now, Ace Steel, if he's throwing chairs and biting people, he can hit the bricks. Okay? Uh, but but I'm not firing this dude. I, I, I'm sorry. I, you know, and, that, and again, that has nothing to do with his behavior. That's this is completely independent of his behavior. He was completely out of line at the presser. 